Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette here with the next video, and we're talking about the balancing update that should be coming out tomorrow to Clash of Clans. So I'm just gonna read the post to start, and uh, in case you guys didn't know what they were saying, what the changes are, I'll let you guys know all that via just reading the post, and then uh, we'll talk about the effects it's gonna have on each town hall level. I was planning on just uploading a regular video today, but a ton of people have been requesting for me to talk about this, and I think that it's something that's really gonna affect the game. So I'm gonna just be looking at it from the perspective of Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11 in Clan Wars and how they might change. So anyway, let's just get right into it, starting with the announcement itself. Basically, uh, Supercell, the Clash, Clash of Clans development team, came out with the following statement. They said, The team is in full swing working on the next major update. In the meanwhile, we have a small balancing patch going out with the following changes. Cannon damage increased for levels four, 11 to 14. And just so you guys know, 11 is the t max for Town Hall 9. 14 goes all the way up to max for Town Hall 11. We are, currently are developing a better defensive answer to mass attacks of mid-sized units. For now, a cannon damage boost will help pick up the slack. Next one is healers trigger air traps once again. Healers have become a staple high-level troop but stay out of but stay out of the defensive range too safely sometimes for the entire battle cue the seeking air mines okay uh, next one minor movement speed reduced miners are a bit too speedy for a unit that burrows underground making them too effective at overwhelming and wiping out entire villages attackers can deploy more of their army before eagle artillery will activate Eagle Art Artillery's quick activation limits phase-based attacks more than it needs to. This change gives attackers more early battle flexibility. Clash on the Clash of Clans team. Okay, so four different changes. We'll talk about them kind of through the perspective of each town hall level. Um, we'll go ahead and fast forward through the end of this attack as we do. We'll start with Town Hall 9, and only really two of these are going to affect Town Hall 9. That's going to be the cannon uh, damage increased, uh, levels 11 to 14, because like I said, level 11 is the first level at Town Hall 9. Honestly, I think this is a probably a good change. Um, anything to kind of, you know, nerf ground attacks a little bit when we're talking just for Town Hall 9 because I think that they're still pretty powerful and uh, this isn't that good of a solution though to, you know, bowlers and uh, those types of attacks. Really any bowler based attack that seems to be dominating still at Town Hall 9. This isn't the best solution but it does help a little bit and it gives a little more balance back to air attacks which you guys have seen on the channel recently. So anyway, no objection to that but uh, the big thing is healers trigger traps once again. So that basically means we're going to see a nerf to any attack that uses healers and at Town Hall 9 that's quite a few attacks. Uh, first, I mean like HG, HB, HB, HP, those kind of healer based attacks are, are going to be in jeopardy a little bit because uh, one seeking air mine can just take out one full healer. So it should be interesting to see kind of in base building how people end up putting their seeking air mines because you can either put them inside your base to defend against HG, HB and some kind of healers entering the base and maybe a queen charge. But on the other hand, for just a normal queen walk, if they're inside the base, they won't take out any healers. So it's kind of going to be a guessing game a little bit. And uh, that should be pretty interesting to see how people end up building their bases, where they put their seeking air mines, because there's you can put them inside the base or on the outside. Either one uh, could take out potential healers. But effectively, this is nerfing the HGHB a little bit. Now, I think a better nerf would be to somehow just nerf bowlers specifically at Town Hall 9 because they seem to be the root of the problem. I don't think the Queen Walk is too overpowered at Town Hall 9, really. And when you think about it, for most of the you know, Clash community, going outside just the top edge of the war scene, it, it's really not like that overpowered people still struggle with queen walks i don't think it's something that's you know urgently needs to be changed no one was really asking for this change and uh, i don't think it's the best solution to anything at town hall 9 but it should be interesting to see how base building changes and i think we might see a little more ground attacks come back at or sorry air attacks back at town hall 9 with this new change but um very hard to predict we'll see how this ends up going town hall 10 uh once again the cannon Probably isn't the best solution if they want to try to 
uh, nerf whatever bowlers, miners, any of those things. Like they said, the mid level or the mid troop capacity uh, ground based spam attacks, however they worded it. I don't think this is the best solution, but like they said, it's just to try to uh, kind of hold the town hall level over, make it a little bit better until they find a, a better solution. So I think the cannon's probably fine for that. It might nerf queen walks also in addition to the healer change because the cannons now do more damage on the outside of the base. But besides that, uh, cannons I think are fine for that. Once again, the healers are the main thing for that town hall level. And uh, I think we're going to see a lot less queen walks because the difference at town hall 10 is that the point defense is so much higher level it goes up two extra levels plus you have expos you have more of them you have them being higher level it almost seems like a queen walk is already a kind of a risky venture it, you know you need the right type of queen walk you can't just it's not like a town hall nine where your queen can get away with kind of you know walking around the base in weird ways it really has to be a lot more planned out and i think the risk of just losing a healer right off the bat to a, a seeking air mine will make it so we don't see many queen walks plus at town hall 10 it's pretty hard to three star with air troops still so i think people can confidently put their seeking air mines towards the outside of the base taking out healers and uh, they don't have to worry like at town hall 9 about people doing air attacks to three star them so i think that queen walks are going to uh, kind of fade out a little bit at town hall 9 or town hall 10 we won't see them quite as much and uh, honestly, though, for the mass bowler attacks, which this also kind of serves to nerf where you have the six healers and the bowlers, bases kind of already were set up to defend against that. That wasn't really an issue that much anymore, at least for people who are now building anti-three-star bases. You can still do that to three-star to three star, you know, anti-two-star bases, but really a, a good solid base wasn't that vulnerable to a mass bowler attack anymore at Town Hall 10. So this healer change does not serve Town Hall 10 well at all, I don't think. As far as the minor movement speed reduced, we don't know how much it's going to be, but I think if, if they were trying to nerf miners, they almost did the opposite. I, at first, I was like, okay, a little bit of a minor nerf, that's good. And then, you know, I kind of thought about it, and it's like, well, okay, wait, hold on a second. We have miners moving slower, but when they're underground, they can get the benefit of the heal without taking damage. So it almost seems like they're not above ground any more than they normally would be because they do the same amount of damage, same attack speed, all that stuff. They're still going to, you know, take the same amount of time to take out buildings. They're just going to take longer to move in between them, which gives them more benefit if you're using heal spells on them. Now, the one thing is they might move slower in relative to your other troops so if you're sending them in like adjacent to your kill squad they might not move through the base quite as quickly but in terms of the damage they're taking it's going to be equal and they'll get more time healed in between buildings so i think in a way this is, seems to be kind of a mini miniature buff to miners i don't think it'll have that much of an impact but i think it's definitely not helping the situation and miners are a little bit too powerful uh, at both town hall 10 and you could argue town hall 11 even so uh, mainly Town Hall 10, though. We're seeing a little bit too much minor action. So I think this was kind of a step in the wrong direction almost. So we'll see how the miners end up uh, end up working out. But I guess I'm surprised with Supercell. Like, they're saying miners are a bit too speedy for a unit that burrows underground, making them too effective or overwhelming and wiping out entire villages. That almost seems like, it, okay, but the solution isn't to make them move slower because they get more heal benefit. I don't know. It just seems weird to me that they Supercell would overlook this. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe I'm completely wrong. You can let me know, but that's just kind of my opinion. That's how I see it at Town Hall Town Hall 10, the minor situation. Anyway, though, finally for Town Hall 11, um, the cannon buff, uh, you know, it is what it is. This is going to make uh, attacks a little bit harder to execute at Town Hall 11. I'm not too thrilled about that. I think Town Hall 11 needs some help with the three stars, making it just slightly easier to three star at Town Hall 11. Not a big deal, though. Once again, the healers are going to be a bit of an issue, I think, at Town Hall 11, because we were just seeing some awesome stuff with Queen Warden Walks, where you have a Queen Walk. The Warden also follows the Queen into the base. You can get some great value, use the Warden's ability on the Queen. We saw some awesome stuff like that, and it seems like with the Seeking Air Mine threat, um, it's it's going to make it a little harder to do and almost too risky sometimes. So I'm not thrilled about that, and... Uh, 
really for bowlers we did we don't see a whole lot of mass bowler attacks at town hall 11 it's mainly mass minor which i think got the buff that's the next thing so i think we're going to see even more miners favorite town hall 11 maybe some more of the bowler minor combos because they don't use any healers check back a few videos for that i had an attack strategy on that and uh, i think that that attack that attack is going to be a lot more popular at town hall 11 uh just taking advantage of the of the miners because they're they're going to be, in my opinion, a little bit more powerful. So, uh, finally, the one thing I've kind of neglected the entire video that only applies to Town Hall 11, really, is the uh, attackers can deploy more of their army before Eagle Artillery will activate. And this, I think, is probably one of the good the bad, the, the good changes, uh, sorry, the good changes to uh, Clash of Clans at this point because I think that the Eagle is, you know, it's one of the major things preventing three-star attacks at Town Hall 11. We're going to be able to see a little bit more phase-based attacks. Now, Queen Walks, which were kind of the first phase a lot of the time for these set attacks, might not, you know, be quite as powerful now because they're nerfed. So it's kind of interesting because at one, at, on one hand, you have the encouragement for the phase-based attacks, but on the other hand, it's just kind of like, well, now you can't quite do them as much because the queen walk isn't an option for the most part at town hall 11 so maybe we'll see some other kind of kill squads that have like you know a group of bowlers that stays under the limit so you can send in your heroes you know bowlers all that stuff you can send more troop space in use more spells without the eagle activating and even take out the eagle before it even lights up so that's one thing you can think about that doesn't involve healers but anyway overall i'm not too thrilled about this uh, update i think that the uh the clash team may have overlooked a few things maybe they know more than we do and this is all kind of going to come together in some way that works i you know i'm a little bit skeptic i don't want to rush to the conclusion that this is a terrible update because you have to you know give it time and see how it works out it hasn't even come out yet so uh we'll see how how it ends up shaping clash of clans but i think overall it should change the base building meta and you guys will see a ton of content on the channel talking about how to attack and defend after this balancing update comes out because those two will be shifted for town hall 9 10 and 11 most likely anyway though thanks for watching let me know what you think about the update below and let's stay tuned and just see how it plays out once it drops see you guys later bye sectatron out